What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I've got another unboxing for you. Today we're going to be unboxing the uh, last of the Ultraman Mill Creek releases. Um, so this is Ultraman Max, the complete series. And yeah, for those of you who aren't aware, um, Mill Creek Entertainment actually got the licensing rights to release um, almost the entire Ultraman franchise in North America. Save for a couple of like really obscure things or like the very, very latest um, series. So over the last several years, um, about three or four years, they've been releasing a couple, one of these every couple months. Um, they've been releasing all the series from like the 60s all the way up through the 20 teens. And um, this is uh, supposedly, at least as of right now, as of early 2023, uh, the last release that they're going to have. This is the last series that they have um, they have uh, licensed to release. So as far as I know, um, this is currently, unless they get some other uh, licenses later on, this is currently the end of Mill Creek's Ultraman releases. Um, they're going to actually be putting out some compilations. Um, like, they they have this thing called the... I think it's called the Battle Kaiju series, where they're compiling a bunch of episodes onto, like, a single-disc release of, like, Ultraman fighting certain monsters. Like, Red King is the first one. They're going to put that out, but that's just a compilation of episodes from all the different um, series that they've already put out. So there's going to be nothing new on those. It's just going to be kind of like monster-specific um, episode best ofs, basically. Um, as far as like complete series, this is the final one that they're going to be putting out. So um, you can conceivably collect all of them now that Mill Creek is going to have. And maybe later, maybe in like a year or two, maybe they'll get some additional licenses for some of the much newer ones, um, the very recent ones, maybe. But for now, we will go ahead and take this. So, let's see here. Um, just to take a look at the packaging here, there's no slip cover. It just comes uh, shrink-wrapped here. So let's go ahead and take off the shrink-wrap. No stickers or anything on the outside. Comes in kind of a uh, fat, clear DVD size case here. This one not available on Blu-ray, so um, some of them are available on Blu-ray, some are available on, only on DVD. It just kind of depends on um, what the best quality um, transfers uh, Mill Creek got from the original company. So um, for a lot of the series kind of in the middle, like from the 90s um, and 80s, they just have DVD quality because they aired on standard definition TV and they've never been you know, remastered, or, or they've never gotten HD transfers of them. So, kind of for a lot of the series in the middle, like the 80s and 90s, um, they're only out on DVD. And then the earliest series, like the ones from the late 60s and 70s, a lot of those have been remastered in HD. They've been upscaled. Um, so, those are available on Blu-ray. And most of the ones from, like, the 2000s and newer are all on Blu-ray as well. Because um, a lot of those are actually made in HD to begin with. But um, all the ones from like the 80s and 90s tend to all just be on DVD. So, just so you're aware. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this here. Again, as always, Mill Creek has awesome artwork for these. Really cool. And then here is the spine here. Complete series. Ultraman Max. And then here is the back with the UPC code. A little bit of info. All that good stuff there. Um, like all, pretty much all the other releases, um, it's in its original aspect ratio. So in this case, it's full screen, 4x3. Um, it comes with the original broadcast Japanese audio. So it's usually uh, Japanese stereo for the most part. Or mono for some of the older seasons. But this one is Japanese Dolby Digital 2.0 and with English subtitles. So if you want to watch it, get the authentic original... Um, Japanese ex watching experience, this is going to be what you want. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, this one does come with an episode guide. It's kind of hit and miss um, which ones do and don't come with an episode guide. Um, a lot of them do, some of them don't. Um, 
you know, it, it's not a hard rule that they're all going to have one, but a lot of them do contain one, and I really like when they include them. So just so you can see, it's just kind of like a stapled little booklet here. It's glossy, full color. So it showed you some of the heroes, um, some of their like weapons and vehicles, and then a list of all the kaiju characters. And then they have a little blurb about each episode that's in the series. So they have a little thumbnail, um, the title of the episode, the director, writer for each one, and kind of a one sentence little blurb um, of what the episode is about. So yeah, and the back is just kind of an ad for some of the other stuff. So very cool that they included this. I really like um, when they when they have those. Um, so there is some inner artwork there. So I'll show you all the discs and then I'll show you kind of what the art on the inside of the case looks like. So this is disc one. <clears throat> it looks like all of the discs have the same artwork on them, just with a different label there. So disc two comes with a little hinged holder here. Disc three. Disc four. Disc five. And disc six right here. Bam. And then here is the inner artwork if you are curious. So it has like the title logo on the spine here. And then here is the artwork from the inside. I'll try to show you uh, both of them at once there. So yeah. So that's what that looks like. Pretty cool. I, I like when they include um, extra artwork on the on the inside. It doesn't take that much more effort, and it looks it makes it look a lot better. So yeah, that's very cool that they included that. And this is kind of what it looks like folded out on this side here. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very glad that they um, put out all of these series. Like I said, it's not like a hundred percent of the series, but it's pretty much every major um, complete series from the beginning of Ultraman through um, current, uh, almost current day, like the mid 20 teens, basically. Um, so there's not really much else you could I could ask for. Um, they all are in essentially the original aspect ratio, um, the original Japanese audio with English subtitles, and a lot of them have like these cool little um, guides and things like that. So maybe at some point I'll do a video that just does kind of an overview of the whole thing. Um, if you collect Ultraman, if you like this kind of stuff, if you collect DVDs and things like that, I actually have unboxing videos from when I got every single release <laughs> in the Ultraman Mill Creek series. Um, I own them all now, including the two Ultraman Day ones that were exclusive to Deep Discount. Um, that have a couple of exclusive things on them. I have unboxings of all of that on my channel. So if you're interested, um, I'll make sure that they're all in the playlist uh, once this one's uploaded. That way you can, if you want, you can watch them all in a row. And then um, I'll also consider maybe making just kind of an overview video that shows you all the different releases and kind of tells you how you can, how you can pick them up. But yeah, this is a good time to um, go out get the latest one, get the last one, and maybe go back and get some of the previous ones that you haven't gotten before. Now that their license is up, um, I'm not sure how much there's going to be a push for keeping these in print now that they've, because it's been years since they've started putting these out. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe now that they're done, um, they might start to let some of them go out of print. I don't, I have no information about that. I'm not sure, but um, I can see them maybe, now that they're finished releasing the whole thing, most people who want them have probably picked them up when they came out. They might start deprioritizing Ultraman in favor of some other stuff, I don't know. So, not a bad time to maybe go and fill out uh, your Ultraman collection if you're trying to, to collect all of them. Because, yeah, there's a lot of really cool series in there, so... Um, yeah, if, if they come out with any new ones, if they get any more licenses, uh, I probably won't pick up the, um, like, the Battle Kaiju series, just because I don't, I don't think they're going to have anything new. As far as I know, they're only just going to have a couple of hand-picked episodes 
from the discs that I already have. So if that's the case, I probably won't get those just to have like the cases. Um, I guess if you're maybe a super purist, you would want to pick up every single one, including those. But um, given that they're just going to be rehashes of stuff that I already bought from Mill Creek, <laughs> I probably won't pick those up. I don't really count those. So yeah, if they do ever come out with additional series or newer stuff, um, or stuff they haven't released yet, I will definitely also pick those up in the future. So if you like this video, go ahead and click thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. Um, also, hit subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my future content. If you collect DVDs, Blu-rays, Ultraman, Kaiju stuff, anything like that, check out my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.